Hello guys, today I want to show you how you can create this epic news intro animation in Adobe After Effects. Hello, this is BBC World News. To support me on this one, like this video and do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on the notification so that you never miss out on any video. And now let's go into After Effects and get started. Create a new composition. Name this Ribbon. Make it 1920 by 1080. Then select 30 frames per second for the frame rate. And then I'm going to make this duration 10 seconds. Feel free to choose your own settings. Then hit OK. So I'm going to toggle the transparency so that we can see what you are doing right here. So I'll pick the shape tool right here, the rectangular tool, I will draw a simple rectangle shape. So with the shape layer still selected, I'm going to draw a little stripe shape above this one. Then I will select the shape layer, hit P on your keyboard. At zero, I'm going to move this off the screen. Then I will set a keyframe. I'll move forward in time to about four seconds, and then set a keyframe, then move the Y position out of the screen again, but this time around below. Select your keyframe and easy ease. If you preview now, this is what you have. You can slow this down to about three seconds. That will also depend on what preferences you like. So I'm going to duplicate this some couple of time and offset it on the timeline. So after offsetting them some couple of time in the timeline, so if you play back, this is what you have. Now, control N on your keyboard to create a new composition. We're going to name this the globe. Leave it at 10 seconds for the duration and 30 frames per second. Then hit OK. So in this time, you will need a world map transparent PNG. You can just Google it and it is all over the place. So I have one that I have downloaded from Google right here. Just drag and drop it into your project or into your timeline right here. And you will have this world map fitted to your comp. If you toggle the transparency, you will see that it is transparent. So now, Control N again to create a new composition. We're going to call this main 30 frames per second, 1920 by 1080, and 10 seconds for the duration is also OK. Then hit OK. So, first of all, drag the ribbon composition into your timeline. To see what we are doing properly, right click, go to new and create a new solid layer. We're going to name this BG, fit to comp size and then hit OK. I'm going to add a fill color so that I can change the color. Change the color to somewhat white like this. Move it below the ribbon layer. We're going to add a CC sphere effect to this ribbon layer. So search for it. Now you have this. So we're going to make some changes to the parameters right here on the CC sphere. So if you go to the rotation, first of all, I'm going to increase the scale. That is the radius in this case. I'm going to make it 300 into the rotation and rotate it like this. On the X axis, minus 25. On the Z axis, I'm going to leave it at 59. You can always adjust this to whatever you like. Let me adjust the Z axis a bit. I'm going to leave it to something like this, which is 79. You can make it 80 if you like. So let's switch this to the project manager window again. Then drag the globe into the timeline. I'm going to apply the same CC sphere. 
we're gonna go into the effects and control to make some changes to this we're gonna make the radius 250 then I'm gonna orient it by rotation to align with the previous one feel free to just make it whatever you like because this is only but a guide we're not trying to create the exact copy of the BBC world news intro but to show you that it is possible in adobe after effects so that you can implement this technique and the tools i have used here in other news intro so i'm gonna leave this but i'm gonna go back into the world map composition i will select this and add a fill i will change this to somewhat gray like this somewhat like this is okay then i'll go back to the main composition and now this is what you have. I'll alt click on the Y rotation, then add an expression time, asterisk 100. There you have it. If you select the globe layer or the ribbon layer, you see that in the CC sphere, there is the lighting type here and the shading type. So you can use this to control the lighting, where the lighting is affecting and where the shade is affecting in case if this style is not what you are going for. And here with these parameters here, you can control the shadows. I'm going to leave it like this for the purpose of this tutorial. I just want you to know that there are parameters that can allow you to control the lighting and the shade. So as we preview, this is what you have. But if you take a look at this now, it looks like the ribbon is directly on top of the globe. Let me pause right here so that you can get that picture correctly. If you take a look at this point, you see that the ribbon is entirely on top. Look at it here. This part is on top of the globe and this part is on top of the globe. But what we are trying to achieve now is to have the globe directly inside the ribbon. That is what the BBC World News logo is. So how do you do that? Select the Ribbon Composition layer, then Ctrl D on your keyboard to duplicate it. You're going to move it below the globe. That still does not solve the problem. So select the top one, go into the settings right here where it says Render. It says Full right here. So the top one, we are going to set it to be outside. And we'll select the bottom Ribbon and set the render to inside so you see now the ribbon seems to be going around the globe and the globe is inside the ribbon let's preview now and see you can see now it is perfect the ribbon is directly covering and around the globe That is pretty much what it is on this. The rest is just to have the logo and add it to this. So you can simply create a new composition. Then I'm going to make this 500 by 500. 30 frames per second and with the same duration. So I'm going to name this BBC logo. So I will right click on my timeline, go to new and add a new solid layer. Of course, this is going to serve as our BG. I will add a fill color. The fill color is the direct red that we need. I'm going to duplicate this very particular solid layer and I will change the color to white. So I'm just going to hit S on my keyboard to scale it down. So I will right click again and create a new text. I'll just type in B. At this point, any font will do. Let me pull in so that we can see what we are doing. Let's set this resolution to full. Beautiful. Actually, this is not the BBC fonts, but I'm gonna go with this for the purpose of this tutorial. So I'm gonna select the font and the white solid layer, Ctrl D on my keyboard to duplicate it. I'm gonna alter it like this by holding the shift. 
So I will still move it on top of the layer hierarchy. I will control D on my keyboard to duplicate it one more time and offset it again like this. So I'll just change this last text to C. So select all the three layer and bring it to the center. Select the top text layer, control D on your keyboard to duplicate it. I'll select my text tool and change this to world news. So let's go back to the main composition and then switch this to the project manager window. Select the BBC logo and drop it into the composition. So you're gonna scale this down. So at this point, you can move it at any point in the frame. You can move it here. You can move it to the right. So depending on what you find pleasing. And that is it guys. This is how you can create the beautiful BBC World News logo intro in Adobe After Effects with just some few steps using the CC Sphere. If you learned something new on this video, please hit the like button that will enable the algorithm to suggest this to more people if you have any question please feel free to ask me in the comment section and i'll reply to all questions as quick as i can if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe to my youtube channel you can support me in any way you can give me super thanks subscribe to my membership whatever way you want to support me with even if you share the video that is also a huge support and it is highly appreciated if you like the video leaving a comment is all a support so in whatever way you are able to support me i highly appreciate you so until i see you again on the next one my name is ssb otaru from motion digit studios